There's the beef. The burger wars are heating up this morning with a new report that Wendy's is about to dethrone Burger King in U.S. sales. NBC's Lilia Luciano is in Miami sinking her teeth into this story. Hey, Lilia, good morning. I am. Good morning, Anne. And while the final numbers aren't out yet, there may be a change at the top in the $175 billion a year fast food industry. While there's no debating McDonald's place as America's top burger chain, the race for number two is closer than ever. Loaded with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and pickles. In the fast food fight of the burgers, the race for number two is heating up. Hot, juicy North American beef. A study for the Wall Street Journal predicts that for the first time in its four-decade history, Wendy's could top Burger King in U.S. sales this year. <laughs> is it the square versus the round, the pigtails versus the crown, or is the secret not in the meat but the marketing? Analysts say in an effort to attract young men, Burger King's recent ad campaigns included a burger-scented cologne. Flame, the scent of seduction with a hint of flame burrow meat. A comical King character. Stop that King! And the Whopper sacrifice. What do you love more, your friends or the Whopper? An app that gives you a free burger when you unfriend 10 people on Facebook. They've really focused their advertising campaign toward the younger consumer. As a result, the quote-unquote creepy king, as many consumers would call him, um, has turned off a number of older, more traditional, loyal consumers as well as parents. At Wendy's, we use fresh, never frozen beef. At the same time, analysts say Wendy's has been marketing its fresh food quality, including natural cut fries and fresh, never frozen burgers. Fresh generally translates to the perception of better for you, Better for you translates to healthier, and as American consumers, we're looking for better and healthier. For its part, Burger King has retired that so-called creepy king and says it's now beefing up with better menus, remodeled restaurants, and social initiatives for kids. But no matter who wins the number two spot in 2011, in 2010, McDonald's had four times the sales of either rival, more than $32 billion in the U.S. There's a reason they call them the Golden Arches. Well, and this gives me a great excuse to break the diet. I think I'll be spending the rest of the day doing a bit more research on the subject. All right. Not well, quite satisfied. Well, there's always a New Year resolution, Lily Luciano. Thank you so much. <laughs>